Hi, I'm Steve Gill with your daily video notes for February 8, 2012. Well, it was a bad, bad, bad night for Mitt Romney in Missouri, Minnesota, and Colorado. He went 0 for 3 in two caucuses in one primary. Now, the primary in Missouri was really just a showcase beauty contest. There weren't any delegates actually awarded. Newt Gingrich wasn't on the battle, but it was a big win for Santorum. Gives him some momentum and a lot to talk about today. Now, they're going to do it all over again in Missouri on the 17th of March when the actual caucus will take place that will actually award delegates. But until then, bad news for Romney in Missouri, one of those key battleground states looking at, uh, at the fall election. In Colorado, things were bad for Romney as well. It was an upset win for Santorum there. Again, just a handful of delegates awarded. They'll have uh, more processes ahead to award more delegates in Colorado. But it was a place that Romney did well in four years ago, doing much worse, about half the vote totals he got just four years ago. And in Minnesota, an open primary where, again, it allowed Democrats, independents, and others to vote. Only about 26,000 votes needed to give uh, Rick Santorum the win there. Another loss for Mitt Romney. So 0 for 3 for Mitt Romney, 3 and 0 for Rick Santorum. Does this change the race dramatically? Well, it depends. First of all, it was an even worse night for, uh, for Newt Gingrich than it was for Mitt Romney. Uh, Newt Gingrich went 0 for 3, didn't even show in, uh, in uh, some of the states, didn't even get on the ballot in Missouri, something he's going to replicate on Super Tuesday in Virginia. His money may slow down, his momentum is definitely slowed, and his whole argument that he is the only conservative that can stop Romney is now shot out of the saddle because you've got Rick Santorum still alive, still battling ahead with the momentum that Rick, Newt Gingrich has lost. But for Mitt Romney, he's got the best chance still to move ahead. Why is that? Well, Super Tuesday looms. You've got 10 states. You've got 460 delegates or so that are up for grabs. And Rick Santorum may have momentum, but can he get the money? Can he get the organization to actually run a national campaign when he hasn't been able to do that up until now? Right now, the momentum, the money may flow to him, kind of like taking a sip of water out of a fire hydrant. But can he translate that quickly into actually putting it into success in those Super Tuesday states? That's the challenge for Rick Santorum. It's going to be incredibly difficult to do. For Mitt Romney, what he has to do is find a way to rebound from this loss, and he's got some opportunities ahead. Maine, where he should do pretty well, is still ahead just a week or so from now. You've got Arizona and Michigan, both with primaries before the end of this month, before you have Super Tuesday. So Romney still has a chance to get his legs under him if he can show the passion, show the heart that voters are clearly looking for, because they clearly have not coalesced around him at this point. It's going to be a wild ride heading to Super Tuesday. There's a reason they call it Super, because all the marbles are going to be up for grabs on that day, March 6th, 2012. We'll talk again soon. I'm Steve Gill. This is The Gill Report.